Hey everyone, Triple Dice here, and today I'm bringing you a very strong sword build. With the latest patch, some gear cell slots were changed again, giving us new options for gearing our slayer. I went for a neutral weapon this time, because I am usually doing patrols and you never know what kind of element behemoth you're fighting until you're in the lobby. Quickly switching out your weapon then usually ends in a few perks not being plus 6. Also, fighting a blaze behemoth with a blaze weapon just feels bad to me. With a neutral weapon, this problem goes away. As you can see, we have a strong combination of damage increasing perks. Rage Hunter and Overpower are my favorite power perks. I will probably never play without them. Plus 6 Rage gives us another nice bonus that's not hard to maintain, since we also have Iceborne. The 35% damage increase from Predator is insanely good, but can be tricky to maintain sometimes. If you are not comfortable yet with Predator, you can switch out the cells for Wild Frenzy, giving you 100% uptime attack speed increase, or Cunning, giving you a 15% chance to deal double damage on every hit. Then there's also Adrenaline, which gives you a more safe, but smaller damage increase. You can actually change it to any other technique perk you want. That's the beauty of this setup, you have multiple options. You can even switch out the overpower cells for a different power perk if you want. But I'd advise against it, overpower is just too darn powerful. Leveling up your sword mastery can be pretty time consuming. Playing with different swords always speeds up the process a bit. Here you can see the rewards for leveling your sword mastery. The main goal is reaching level 19 as soon as possible. Being able to upgrade your weapon to plus 15 is very nice. This helps with dishing out even more damage. As for me, I am currently on mastery level 18, so hopefully soon I will be able to do this myself. Now, if you want to use an elemental sword without changing other gear slots, here are some viable options. For Frost, we have the Pangar's Call. Infuse that with plus 3 Rage Hunter and Iceborne, and the build is practically the same. We just lose a bit of Lantern Charge, but gain Knockout King, which isn't bad to have. Another Frost option would be the Boreas weapon. This gives major stamina regeneration, which is always nice to have with the sword weapon. For a Blaze weapon, I went with the Charred Saber. Infuse that with plus 3 Rage Hunter and Iceborne as well and your perks will almost be the same. Instead of Knockout King, we get Aether Hunter. Not a really good perk, but in certain situations it might help just a little bit. A different neutral sword option would be the Sword from Skarn. This leaves you with exactly the same perks as the Panger Skull, but gives you a stackable temporary shield as long as you keep doing damage. And this shield can stack up extremely high. It might save your life at the right time. Unfortunately, if you want to go for a Shock, Umbral or Radiant sword weapon, we need to start changing too many gear parts, and that would defeat the purpose of this build. I'll leave you now with a short clip of me hunting a Deadeye quill shot with two random people. I hope this video was helpful to anyone. Please let me know in the comment section what you think of my sword builds. Have a nice day and keep on slaying those behemoths. Thank you.